In this video, we are going to see three alignment techniques that can be performed on gabionetta pumps. Starting from the preparation of the skid, it's important to have the mounting pads clean and free of dust or grease. All Gabionetta pumps are equipped with jack bolts on the driver feet in order to be able to do precision horizontal movements to achieve better alignment. We start by measuring the distance between the shaft ends. This measure should be accurate, thus it should be measured by the mean of a micrometer. First, we take the rough measure with a measuring tape. Then we prepare the correct micrometer length and we take accurately the measure. If required, we move the driver with jack bolts to reach the acceptable DBSE. For the alignment with dial gauges, we need to use a stiff support that holds firmly the dial gauges. This support should be installed on the coupling hub and fixed properly to avoid measuring errors during the alignment. The first method of alignment is called rim and face. In this method, it's recommended to install the support on the hub of the movable machine, the driver and the dial gauges on the fixed one, in our case, the pump. A dial gauge is fixed on the external diameter of the hub, the rim. With this dial gauge, we will take the radial measurements. Another dial gauge should take the axial readings by fixing it on the coupling hub face. If the driver shaft has a magnetic center and can move axially, a third dial gauge should be fixed on the coupling hub face in order to consider the shaft movements. Dial gauges are set at zero at one position, typically at 12 o'clock, and the two hubs should be rotated together for 360 degrees, taking the reading in at least two opposite positions in vertical plan and two in the horizontal plan. Another alignment method with dial gauges, considered more accurate, is called reverse method, and it requires to fix two supports on the two coupling hubs, holding each one a dial gauge that will read radially and simultaneously the two opposite rims. Taking the readings of the dial gauges on both vertical and horizontal plans, and by the mean of a linear equation, the desired acceptable alignment between the shafts will be achieved.
The fastest and most accurate is the laser alignment method. That requires basically to install the coupling spacer between the hubs. We can install first the calibrated screws of the coupling spacer from the back plate side and tighten them to reduce the length of the spacer, which will allow us to install easier the spacer between the two hubs. Once the spacer is installed and the calibrated screws are tightened correctly on their position, we can fix firmly the laser supports on the two opposite coupling hubs and consequently install the laser beam projector and the facing mirror on the supports. The laser alignment tool will require some measure to be inserted that can be taken with a measuring tape as well as it requires to center the laser beam. and then to rotate by hand and slowly the machine shafts, taking care on not interrupting the laser beam. In the end, the alignment tool will give us all the corrections to be done for a final and acceptable result. To achieve an acceptable alignment in the vertical plan, we need to get recourse to stainless shims with thicknesses starting from 0.05 mm. It's recommended to start the alignment by adjusting the vertical plan. First, it will be necessary to lose the feet bolts and lift up slightly the motor to add or subtract shims according to our needs. Do not forget to tight back the feet bolts before recontrolling the alignment. After obtaining satisfactory results in the vertical plan, by the mean of the jack bolts, we can correct the horizontal plan alignment to achieve the required values. A latest shaft rotation is required to check the final alignment values that should be acceptable as per the vendor and standards recommendations.